Hey there gang, how's it going? Welcome back to the second part. Today we're going to do the small stories, at least small, I don't know if they're small, but uh, you know, they're anecdotes, so I'm assuming small. And let's get started with a story for you. You right there, watching, let's get it. About that time, we saved the Tanuki photo board. Five meters away. Hey, how funny, let's go. So many complaints, what should I do? Need any help? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. Tell me all about it. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. Mm -hmm. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. Mm -hmm. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. How dare they? They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. I'm going. <sighs> what a headache. Can't you arrest them or drive them away or what? It's a bit extreme. Uh, arrest them? <laughs> Well, it would solve the immediate problem, but don't you think that if the Tenryo Commission starts arresting people without good cause, we'll soon have a bigger problem on our hands? I do. It was just one of the only two options I could use. The first thing we tried was negotiating with them, but ultimately these facilities are open to everyone, and there's no time limit on usage. I feel like there is a time limit. This means that as it's long as they fair. haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it... Ah, uh, I know this feeling. There is nothing we can do. Yeah. I feel you. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? Sure. If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out... She's gonna beat my ass. I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A photo board, huh? We know who would do something like that. I thought Ito for some reason in his gang. Her? Yeah, let's go. This man Thank is literally making me go do his work for free so he can keep his bonus. I know where the board is. I actually laughed at it a couple times. It is him. Of course it is. <laughs> It had- it literally had to be. I knew it was gonna be them. Yeah. Let's go and see what all this is about. Hiya! Me! Oh. <laughs> Numero uno, Arataki Ito. Hey, hey! Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, why are you hugging the board? Hey, you need to let the other people use it. Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? Yeah, crazy, ridiculous. How? Why would someone come to a festival when there's nothing else to do in the place? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good vibes. Oh, you're such a child. I love him, though. We're here to take care of a little problem. And he's like, what's that? And we're like, you. Yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, yo. he's got a problem. The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. <laughs> this is so mean. What do you think? You are the problem. Wait, huh? <laughs> the Arataki gang is the problem. Uh... The Aerial Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Thumbs down. Not cool. Hey, if you make sure to thumbs up the video, please. Like this guy. <laughs> oh, uh, well... No, we haven't. They've received quite a few complaints. Would you care to explain? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. <laughs> yes, boss. I love this guy. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. Okay. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture. Books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. But we can't read. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki gang and help craft a glorious public image. Good idea, honestly. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Uh, don't worry about it. I understand. Of course that was your main reason. Nah, no, 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 no. At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, boss planned to write 60 pages. But two months later, we only had 59 more board to go. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. That's what I'm saying. She'd do one line a page. Well, I mean, come on. You gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. Lazy ass. More like worst procrastinator ever. <laughs> so we cut Best some of the planned content. And figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. Which also didn't happen. But the day after that... The boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. The card Everyone game. Everyone loved it. <laughs> They're actual nerds. It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by. <laughs> I'm telling you, this game, it's pretty incredible. Let's play it. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? <laughs> sure you were. <laughs> inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. Uh-huh. So then we only had two weeks left. 
No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Fair. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. Yeah. That way we'd only need to think of a slogan. Smart. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Right. Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. And all of them were garbage. But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. Oh my god. It took god. us a week to make the final decision. Uh-huh, so one week left. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing because there was so little time left. This is exhausting. And we couldn't afford it. Oh my god. So they've been making people pay to use the board. You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job. And <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. All right. The Arataki gang only puts out the very best into the world. <laughs> that is why I decided to give up on that project. Ah, sure. Whatever makes you happy. That, yep. Well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. Of course. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? Uh huh. So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max. <laughs> By hogging this board, Ito man, you're like 34. Why are you just playing at this kid's board all the, the time? The way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board. <laughs> um. So at first, boss brought us here to buy some drinks. Okay. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. Yeah, I saw that. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. No way. I didn't realize the zoom in on his face, which was amazing. <laughs> but his like voice inflection was so different than the emotion that was shown in game. You know what I mean? Like he looked like he should have sounded way more excited. <laughs> What? Mm hmm But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. Okay, that's ridiculous. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. And we are normal selves. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. Whoa. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. No. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So? So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's <laughs> public property. We didn't commandeer anything. Okay. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. My man loves saying max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. To be fair, it doesn't look like anyone wants to use it. The place looks pretty deserted right now. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki gang. Nice. And we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan too. Nice, dudes. Oh, brother. No, oh, brother. What a noble cause. You could also go buy some books. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. Okay. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. But you can't huh. just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it too. To be fair, other people could just walk up and use it anyway. I, I don't understand what the problem is. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Right. <laughs> um, um, but you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. Just become nice guy gang. If I say I'm going to make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. Well, you can still do that. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's got to have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. Your non-existent prestige. <laughs> Being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. You want a beetle fight? The Arataki way, huh? I might have a bad feeling about this. I don't. So I, Arataki numero uno ito, <laughs> I knew challenge it. you to an all out, no holds barred, anything goes duel. Of course, let's go. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Great, let's have a beetle battle. Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just mm. so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Okay, that sounds spicy. It's like it's his house with the horns right here. It's the Oni house. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... So? Huh. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. So, how are we going to do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... 
Why am I shook? Yeah. Ugh. Wow. This is a this is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Um. Yeah. You, you go ahead. But I'm shocked. Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Hey. Guess he's here for the festival too. Why are we so shook to see Toma? Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? I know best. He has tons of ideas. He's gonna tell us whoever can Toma! eat the most hot pot. Toma! Over here! Hey. Hey, traveler in Paimon. How's it going? Tomito, why don't you just walk up, Tomo? Come here. Were you scared? What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. Yeah, you can say that. What brings you here? <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance <laughs> at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Right, we're here for the same reason. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Why didn't you just walk up to us then? Hmm, red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader <laughs> of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is I like how right? he's talking him up already. <laughs> Toma, my bro, your <laughs> eyes do not deceive you. <laughs> Why do I love this guy so much? Usually I would hate this, but he he's just it fits so well. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato <laughs> clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. There's a serious bromance developing here. I love it. I don't, I don't know why you're pointing it out. I do love it though. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Well, I'm here for the same reason you are. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry. You can tell me anything. Oh, we'll we'll set you up. It's all Ito. He wants to. Huh? Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and, uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Uh-huh. Oh, a duel. Yes. In that case, I have a suggestion. Ooh. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori wow. Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? That sounds amazing. Thank you. Thing is, I want to let Ito win. Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? That's such a badass way to make the gang look awesome. Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. <laughs> Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. <laughs> I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. What? <laughs> Boss means uh, two points out of a hundred. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Two things Arataki Ito does not have. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. We figured. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing oh? Race. As a small token of appreciation. Oh? On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki <laughs> He game. knows. I don't know what I was thinking. He knows. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh... Token of appreciation. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House <laughs> and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. <laughs> Boss, that's the one! That's the one, man! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! No, because you're gonna lose. Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude. Maybe I didn't explain <laughs> properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. Yeah, same. Awesome idea. Totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? Yeah, dude, go for it. You win. You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. <laughs> there's actually no need for the duel after all. If you want that drink, just ask Toma. No. Make him do hey, volunteer this is work. the mighty Arataki above all bold-blooded Ito you're talking uh -huh. to here. Right. I'm gonna say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're you gonna what? have this duel. I'm gonna say what I mean, mean what I say, might, might sound mean what I say, what anyway guy kind of guy, guy. And I say we're gonna have, okay, you, you know you have to duel, I sit here and watch. Say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, I say it anyway. No, that's not that bad. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. This sounds like he could be a rap. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. Sure. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. Uh, we figured. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. Well, you're so smart for getting work and then sending it to us. If you're ready, we can begin. Let's do it. You the Mario Party music. Bam, 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 b
finished already? Wow, you yeah. worked hard. You're wonderful. I skipped the dialogue because I thought I needed to hurry because I was worried that we might lose. Our next job is to help a visitor. What are you pointing at? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Ito, you weirdo? Could you die? Hey, miss, come and help me. Are you looking for your ball? Fancy meeting you here at the festival. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. So it is a game. It's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. Play your own Can game. You help me, miss? Fine. Uh, so basically, every time we run into you, <laughs> we have to go to Mari Hunting. Yes, I found it. We're losing. Quick. Great. Oh, thanks, miss. No problem, dude. I'm losing. Oh, I've lost. Need to help move some goods at the port. Bro, this is so unfair. I have to go across the map, and they had four people. I just had a floating baby that doesn't do anything. Hiya. <laughs> This guy got my radish and cabbage. Hey! Are you the festival volunteers? That's me. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. That's it? I'm carrying it right now? Cool. You must be the volunteers here to save the day. That's me. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. There's more volunteering work we have to do, but thank you. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. That's very cute. Thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Yes. Why are you surprised? Ito won't be able to drink that. Oh, jeez, you're right. Hurry, we've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does. I didn't think of that at all. That's right. Oni and beans. Ito, no! Wait! <laughs> what took you so long? I've been here ages. Completed my tasks a long time ago. You're a beast, Ito. You should be like this more often with your gang. And then you'd have actual street cred. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> you lose, I win. And to the victor, <laughs> go the special edition spoils. There's beans. The drink of champions. <laughs> created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with the Publishing House. And as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. <laughs> <laughs> He's making me die. Woo! All this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait. Drink of champions? It's time to come home. There's soybeans in the drink. Glug glug. Ah. Ito downs the drink in one go. <sighs> Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's the good stuff. And you're dead. That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, there no. he goes. Maybe it was past its prime. Yeah. He's allergic to beans! Beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm He's sorry. Dying. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. It is, but don't worry. It's fine. Leave Ito to, to me. I'll make sure he stands again. I hope so. Don't worry. I'll see you later. He's been volunteering so well. Can you give me the recipe? I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. No worries. I feel terrible. Just give me the recipe, it'll be fine. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. Thank you. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, mm -hmm. I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. I think you'll like it more. Please accept it. Along with our sincere apologies. Thank you so much. That's so nice. So that's what it is. It's a two star? That was a cute quest. I like that a lot. Oh, here we go. Here's a cooking pot. I was looking for one. Here we go. Wait, it was a two star recipe and it became a three star drink? This is actually, I'm not even joking. I think it's better than chop suey. No, it's the same. Okay. Whew. Scared for a second. It's gonna say, you can't make stamina food that's better than chop suey. I would have been pissed. Okie dokie. Next up, we have a third act called Buyer's Guide to the Statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder. And uh, look at how cute this thing is. I actually love it so much. Let's get the quest and navigate there. 19 meters away from here. Talk to Kujo Sara. That's exciting. It's a lot of Sara in this event. Hey, Sara. The Five Kasen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's yeah. still too early to relax. Fair. This is a serious matter, oh. and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? What is it? Is there a fox lady on the loose? Oh, I see her. Get her. Yes, ma'am. And they're hey, gone. Sarah? Hey. Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? Mm, can I help you? Nothing to report. Really? Good. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. Of course. If anything comes up, come to me. Sure. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Yeah, can we help? 
Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices. Oh, no. Even troublemakers hogging the photo board. <laughs> all minor incidents, but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. It's true. Sounds tough. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining also very the true. people's trust. Yeah, for sure. Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. Mm -hmm. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission. Yeah. So we cannot afford to slip up. True. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. I like that. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? Mm -hmm. We want to buy one too! We really do. What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just controlling <laughs> these parts. <laughs> In fact, I was just about to leave. Right. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these things. <laughs> Being exposed. I also think it's cute. When I was making egg rolls for Klee earlier, uh, it's Sar's specialty. And when you read the specialty, it says there's a logo on top of it and it wouldn't really fit Sar's taste. So that she makes that because Egg would love it, basically. That lady Gucci, how can she disclose? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. Sure. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Okay. Oh? What is it? They're not statuettes, they are something else. That is not a there you figurine. Go. It's a statue of Her Excellency, <laughs> the Almighty Narukami Agosha. Oh god my god, she's so pissed. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, Sounds about right. Got it. Yep. This particular statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, <laughs> is a brand new addition. <laughs> there will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Sara's room is just all egg statuettes everywhere. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. I can see like five on display. Oh, really? Look at that. So you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then. Did you manage to get one yet? No, and that's what we're gonna have to help her with. Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. We'll buy one for you. We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. Look, actually six on display. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Nah. Aw, what a shame. Yeah. So instead, I had someone purchase oh. one on my behalf. Never mind. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? I was gonna say that because you, there's only one per person. What if the person themselves wanted one too? Didn't you say they're limited to there one you go. per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. Mm -hmm. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me. Okay. Saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. Cute. Now we need to know what she gained from it, because she never does something without gaining anything from it. I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine or from the Yashiro Commission, but I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. Hmm, we're gonna know this person. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. Sure. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. Yeah. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser, and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. <laughs> early riser and tall. Uh, thinking. What? Uh. Hmm? What was that sound? Probably just the wind. Or the leaves. The wind, huh? Animo? Tall animo? Really? Early riser. Well, Never <laughs> I've been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Okay then. Stay safe during the Iridori festival. You too, Sara. Take care. Let me go talk to Sayu, I guess. Hey there, Sayu. You doing good? Look at the length of this title, man. <laughs> uh oh, you found me. Hello. Sayu, what are you doing here? Oh, wait. Are you the professional? Definitely not tall. Shh. Quiet. She might still be in earshot. <laughs> The shook. Have you been slacking off again? No way. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my <laughs> eyes started to feel real droopy. And... Yeah, okay, that's fair. 
I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. It's a true animal trait to be lazy. In that sense, Jean doesn't make sense. Oh, if I don't buy one of these figurines, Tenryo Commission Tango will lock me up for life. Surely not. Sheesh, goodness knows what Miko told you. <laughs> I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month. No. Nah. And buy one off of someone who got here in time. Let me negotiate the price for you. I'm good at driving a hard bargain. Really? Not true, I butchered Great. it. Then, in the child quest. Here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. I'll do my best. Don't worry about it. 200k? Was that 200k Mora? That's your salary. What? Give me your job. What the? Hey, man. <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho God Stop of being Thunder, such a smug nerd. Chance. Sell it. Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. Okay. Well, I'm happy I don't have to argue with this guy. I really don't like him. I think this lady is going to be nice. He didn't even get after one. coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. Yeah. The Figured. first batch was smaller than I expected. There is no next batch. It was 300 limited edition. Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. Yeah. Oh, well, no point in arguing with this boy. This lady, she looks nice. Reika. Huh. You didn't manage to get one either? Nope. That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. Uh huh. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. Wow. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Right. What you're saying is someone's messing with us. Hmm. Something's wrong here. Yeah. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. Let's go. I'm coming with you. You ask around in the area, but to no avail. I am definitely done for this time. No. A whole lot of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pegasus? Sure. Might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. <laughs> hey. Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. Ah. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. You've been scammed. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? No. I'm sorry, those are... those are display only. Ooh, she reserved them. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. There is more. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. They're not even limited edition, who cares? But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. <laughs> even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? She said she doesn't know. Someone else was here. Look. I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. We're gonna look for these. Hmm. Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? No, 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 no. Don't worry, we'll do it. The, the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> no. No way. <laughs> hmm? Sorry, who are you? This is the professional from the Yashiro Commission. Oh. Are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? I don't know. I just don't want Sai to get in trouble. Um, um, yeah, it does. <laughs> you will follow up on this matter. <laughs> so, so there's no need to go to the Tenryo Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> That's weird. How come Sai is so motivated to work all of a sudden? It doesn't want to get punishment. Shh. If the Tenryo Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sarah will come ask me about it. Uh huh. And then. She'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine. Uh huh. And. So he's supposed to be Miko's handpicked professional. She technically should have come first in line. Anyway, we can't get the Tenryo Commission involved. Not unless there's no other way. Okay. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. Uh huh. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Just be patient, man. I'm sure we'll find some. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Great. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all. Maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. Hmm, technically, someone was here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did you hear anything in your sleep? Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. <sighs> I'll take these, please. Thank you for your patronage. 
Please come again. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Okay, that's great help. You don't have to give an exact number. Roughly how long did each transaction take? Um, um, I got it. There were at least 16 snores between each thank you for your patronage. No way they sold 300. That's not how you count it. Fine, it's fine. Snores should be about one minute. There you go. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves, it should take at least mm -hmm. five hours to sell everything. Right, deals only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. Mm -hmm. but, which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Yep. Maybe. Well, Anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky. Well... Not because I was being lazy. You being lazy definitely didn't help. So then, who's the bad guy? Who's the hmm. bad well, guy? Well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. Mm. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. Well, the in-between shopkeeper was corrupt. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? The process of elimination. The remaining option is... If someone was up to no good, they definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Mm -hmm. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. A smug piece something. of dookie. Hey man, Junpei, we see you. Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on the statue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dream on! Weirdo. How did you know? We're professionals. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. <laughs> okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway, but let me be clear. Don't spread this around. You're going to jail. I came here bright and early to line up. But the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. Okay. I wasn't very happy about that. So, I went around to the back door of a Pegasu to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. Sure. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Hmm. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. He but... gave you a figurine to shut up. Well... Uh, yes, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, hmm. so it was still a legitimate transaction. Weird. It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction <laughs> or not. <laughs> huh? It's the Tenryo Commission? Uh huh. The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Yep. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However. However. It is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. Yeah. We have already investigated the situation at a pay kasu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced <gasps> with stones. No way. But, but how can this be? Please hand over <laughs> your statue of Her Excellency, <laughs> the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. <laughs> We will compensate you I for your loss once we catch the individual name. responsible. Ah, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. <laughs> Shouldn't they hands over the statue? You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hmm? Who's this? Uh-oh. Thanks. I've been spotted. <laughs> A friend of ours. This is Sayu. Oh. You must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. <laughs> um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Then, thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Roll away. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of Use the Use your line. E. Uh... Go. Hmm? Um, um... So, uh... About your statue. So he's been lining up since last night. Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Stop Naruto saying the full name. God of Thunder? She saw someone misappropriating the statues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sai so spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. <laughs> yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry. Don't blame yourself. 
The criminal <laughs> is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. Let's go. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. Okay. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Okay. Instead, we'll seek to quietly surround him. Sure. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. I'll do it. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Sure. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? I know I'm going to help what? the Tenryo Commission more. Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Sego. Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. We were referred by the ones who caught you stealing the statues. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. Uh huh. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. Oh, okay. The price has gone up again, but it's only been a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can take it or leave it. <laughs> we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. Well, this figurine keep its value over time. I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. 120k is too little. Can I get a 420 or a 69 in here? The first 420 or 69 I see, I'm stopping. Ooh, that's close. Oh, I figured it out. I could just do this. 69, there we go. Ugh, fine, fine. I swear, if I wasn't in a rush to get rid of them... <laughs> Let's go. Hold on. Paimon thinks there's still some room for negotiation. Okay, let's do it. What's to negotiate? Do you want it or not? Yes. Cheap. You think this is a game or something? It is. If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now. I'm not stuck here arguing with you. Give the statue. The next location you move to will be the police station. <laughs> You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Let's go. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. <laughs> Literally admitted to it. The Tenryo Commission? When did you- Wait, all that negotiating? Yes. <laughs> Stick <'em up. laughs> May we get to keep all the money. Thank you for your they help. They escort him back to police the station. The has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Wonderful. So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? Uh-huh. This time, I must complete my mission. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen oh, goods will no. have to be kept as evidence at the police station oh, for some no. time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. They're gonna be later than the second batch. Paimon can't believe it! I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. Sure. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Seems good. Although Sora didn't say anything, she seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Of course. Aww, is there really nothing we can do? Trust me, we'll figure something out. Hey, Cade. I see. Uh, thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Okay. See you then. Wait. Hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, <laughs> the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display <laughs> item... I can't, I can't help it. They always say the full name. It kills me. Now that I think about it, why don't you have Aww. it as a gesture of my gratitude? Thank you so much. After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. I'd love it. R really? Do I give this to Sara? Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Great. Uh-oh. I've been so nervous all day. Now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. Please, take this figurine to the police station. You're the worst. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute. It's such a long name. Statue of Excellency, the Almighty God, of Hokoko, Shoko, Boko, Show. Hey, Sara. Sara! Look what we brought you! Oh. Is this? Mm-hmm. You take out the statue and explain what happened. We just grabbed it and came straight here. But now that Paimon takes a closer look at it, it's really well made. Uh huh. Of course. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Uh huh. Otherwise, how could oh. one hope to capture even one thousandth of the Almighty Shogun's majesty? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I really do. Let alone maintain it. 
to do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and <laughs> worship it properly. <laughs> it's also essential to clean it often to avoid a buildup of dust. And it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Mm -hmm. Sarah! Sarah! <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the uh -huh. Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Right. And I haven't even finished explaining the first one. Sure. For a war commander, you, you don't have very good ears, huh? Or maybe she just walks very gracefully. I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. <laughs> I love that Eggs just walking out here now. Your Excellency, this is most unexpected. <laughs> I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? <laughs> I... it's... It was... <laughs> I love both of these so much. It was her. Wow, what a weird no punctuation... Hey, what? It was me. Yep, was me. Huh, I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. I'm, I'm crazy about them. I love little trinkets. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. <laughs> Very well, thank you. <laughs> Sara leaves, her head lowered. Watching Sara leave, she looks kinda sad. I don't think it's sad, I think she was just, you know, ashamed, I guess. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku, a sample sent by Yai Publishing House. I don't need it, <laughs> so I think I'll gift it to you. Thank you, but we already have one. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. <laughs> what you choose to do with it is your business. <laughs> You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. I love eggs so much. Or, to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. Of course. Why does all this have to be so complicated? Paimon, no more questions. <clears throat> Just send it to the Tenryo Commission, please. Put Bretnos as the sender. Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Great. Oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori festival. All the same to you. <laughs> I wish we got to see Sara's reaction. It's so cute. I love it. I actually love it so much. I wish we could see Sara's reaction to receiving it. That would be awesome as well. And here is the final one with the little fox as well. So I'm guessing Yai will be involved in this maybe? Pen pals, book reviews, and a super lucky general. Get quest. Let's go. We have to wait until a certain time of day. My favorite. You know... According to the arrival schedule, mm -hmm. there should be one last ship arriving in Rizzo <laughs> Really? Today. Okay. But the Iridori Festival is coming to an end. Who would be showing up now? Who's always late? Oh, it's almost time. Let's go to the harbor and take a look. Sure. Back to Rito. One last time. Who could it be? Oh, look at that. Traveler Paimon. Nice to see you again. Kokumi and Goro. Wow. It's Kokumi and Goro. <laughs> so the divine priestess and the general of Watatsumi Island have come to take part in the Iridori Festival. That's cute. Yes, but we are not here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. Good. We were invited as individuals. Hope you'll enjoy it. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books, so I decided to make the trip here. Okay. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As mm. her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Okay, Miss Hina, I mean, uh, Goro. Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. Pen pal? Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. Okay. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Seems about normal. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss be? our views on various novels in more depth. Okay. Sounds pretty professional. Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Whoa. Who knows? Maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuma literary scene. So cute. <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. Mm -hmm. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. Okay. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon hmm. will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Sure. Yes. Of course she'd be fine with it. I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. All right, let's go together. She just says no, and ends the end of the quest. <laughs> we get a fox statue. Accompany Kokumi to see her pen pal. Take flight. 
Take flight. I'm really intrigued by who this might be. Who is it? Is it a playable character? Or is it some random NPC? Please don't be a random NPC. Huh, there's no one else around. Mm-hmm. It looks like we're early. Right. My, my. It is Yai? Who have we here? Don't tell me it's actually Yai. I thought so, because, I mean, obviously it's a fox, but... Hey, Yai. It is her, right? That's cool. Miko? Wait. <laughs> Goro ran. Of course, I forgot about that. Paimon hadn't counted on running into Miko. She and Kokomi are on different sides. And they also believe in different gods. And they are the pen pals. That's so cool. This is a very good plot. Or are they going to end up having a fight? No, not at all. They're going to be like, hey, good to see you, pen pal name. Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. Right. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who <laughs> looks as soft as a jellyfish, <laughs> but whose words sting like one too. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Oh, this is getting out of control fast. Pepe laughed. They don't know. Hello. Nice to meet you. Fried tofu with all the frills. <laughs> they do know. Never mind. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I love it. Hey, what's going on here? They're the pen pals. Paimon, come on, catch up, man. Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? Yeah. No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... This so-called meaning of pen pals is just a cover-up? Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book <laughs> review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. <laughs> I the like venue this. for this meeting is in the Conjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. Nice. Who holds a book review in the Conjo Commission? You seriously expect anyone to believe that? Yeah, You're not I believe here to it. Talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene. You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole. Yeah, becoming friends between Watatsumi and the rest of Inazuma. It's great. <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. There you have it. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Sure. Right. Especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. Sounds good. Sounds right. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Yeah, sure. Huh. Okay, then. By the way, where is your general? <laughs> Didn't you say he would be joining you? He ran. <laughs> huh, that's right. Where did Goro go? Leave Goro alone. He ran around that way. Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. <laughs> oh, what a pity. <laughs> I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. <laughs> Traveler, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Not very subtle. What's up? I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Guji Yai. That's a good sentiment. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. Mm -hmm. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. Yeah. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. Of course. I will go occupy him. I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. I figured. That's cute. But Goro rarely buys anything, so as a favor from me... I know. I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Of course, leave it to me. Kokomi, you focus on the meeting with Miko. Leave the books to us and Goro. Yes. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Pass it on to Goro. Always has an idea of what's about to happen. <laughs> He actually is still standing right here behind the wall. Hey, Gorito. Goro? Are you alright? You okay, man? Oh, 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 it's you. I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. <laughs> it completely caught me by surprise. That's the pen pal. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. Yeah, nice instincts. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Don't say that. Goro, Let's go buy some don't books. Don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokomi asked us to give you a very important task. Mm-hmm. You have Kokomi's list of books to Goro. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Yeah. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave sure, it to me. Sure, that's what it is. Goro, let us come with you. Yeah. We can show you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Sure, we've seen it only six times so far. 
Ah, oh, thank you so much. No worries. I love buying books. Pen pals, book reviews, and a super look in general by the books. Hiya. Hey. There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. Okay. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. Sure. A it's very cute. Storybook. Yes. It's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Lovely. Hello. I'll take Hello. Uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. No worries. Wow. You're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, no which way. entitles you to a free gift. That's great. Is it the cute fox? Wow. Coro got a free gift. That's amazing. <laughs> Here you go. A toy fox. That's so cute. It's all yours. I want these. I want this in real life. Look at how comfy that looks. What? A, a, a toy fox? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take it off your hands. Are you okay? Hair on your tail is standing on end. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for the gift. <laughs> Could you maybe uh, l l look after the toy for me? Yeah, of course. Yes, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. No. <sighs> Seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. Okay, uh, next up, <laughs> uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. Oh. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of Ooh. A Legend of Sword for her mm -hmm. in advance. Better not keep him waiting too long. Sure. Oh, we know him. We'll lead the way. We do know this guy. We got the toy fox already. How cute. Hey, Onodera. Hey, excuse me. Are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Yeah. Hello there. Yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Right. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. He's gonna be shook. Oh my goodness. It's your lucky day today, sir. No way, do you win a gift? You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. <laughs> that entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. <laughs> are you serious? Lovely. Are you okay? You don't look very well. Oh, he loves Lady Yai, that's why. I, I'm fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex... <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after uh -huh. all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. Huh. Oh, does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Hyman doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. He's lucky. Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing <laughs> House's lucky draw. He's gonna win that. Please come with me. Right this way. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Let's go. Oh, I accidentally did that. We're here. We're winning. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Ding, ding, ding. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today is your lucky day. It is. What what color ball do I need? Come on, Goro. Go for it. Let's go, Goro. Clap, 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 clap. Let's go, Goro. Clap, 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 clap. Let me see. <gasps> oh, wow. The golden ball. Incredible. You got the golden ball. Yes. That's the grand prize. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the grand prize anyway? A personal interview with Yai Miko. Just go as your pen name, Miss Hina. The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Whoa! Not only is the prize awarded personally by <laughs> Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands <laughs> and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. Whoa! What? Not only do I have to meet her, but <laughs> I have to shake her hand and... Take a photo with her too? Goro, hang in there. This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Yes. Wow, that's so lucky. Uh-huh. An entire set of all their light novels. That's worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, um, excuse me, ma'am. What? Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Why not? Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. Yeah. We'll figure something out. That's ridiculous. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the <clears throat> the picture taking. Okay. But I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cute. Agricultural science. They needed it. What the Tsumi? Yes, the land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always mm -hmm. yields a poor grain harvest. Yeah. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. Yeah, that's cute. One of her ex 
Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. Okay. If I can get these books cool. as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. Great. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. <laughs> Lady face. Guy will have to have the final say. Okay. Seems fair. I will contact Lady Guy now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kassen Plaza. Nice. Depending on the situation, Lady Guy might need to negotiate <laughs> this matter with you further in person. Uh oh. Okay. Understood. He can handle it. He can handle it. It's Gorito. All right. Goro, that was pretty brave of you. Yeah. You clearly don't like having to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demand. Yeah, props, Goro. Great job. You think so? Mm -hmm. I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. Mm -hmm. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? True. I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. No, we're gonna see her. Even if Yaimiko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. Mm, doubt it. He's gonna be flustered for a second. <laughs> hmm. Well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Of course. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. No worries. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. Cute. That's great! Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. Whoa. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. Not a warehouse. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. Aw, oh, that's amazing. You'll package the books? Then what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. How caring. She must know it's Gora. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. That's still gonna tease you. I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. Oh, I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. She probably still will. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Ah, you can never trust this fox, I tell you. Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. Okay. I won't trouble you guys anymore. No worries. See you tomorrow night, Goro. Great. See you tomorrow night. What now? Just wait the full day. Okay. Kokumi and Goro will be boarding their boat home soon. Uh huh. Let's go down to the harbor and see them off. Sure thing. Here they are. I hey guess. Traveler Paimon, thank you for coming to see us off. How was your trip to Rita? Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. That's great. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Yeah, he did a great job. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Did you read that letter, though? Speaking of, didn't hmm. Yaimiko <laughs> send you a letter yesterday? Mm hmm. What did it say? Yeah. Oh, it, I, I almost forgot. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll read it now. About to be teased. Here he goes. Please subscribe to Red Nacio. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and uh -huh. the photo. Uh-huh. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, <laughs> you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. He's all happy. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. <laughs> I do hope you like them. This is very cute. Ah, yes. I'm sure that by this point, you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me. Here you yes? go. Well, here's your chance. Here it is. What is it? Flustered Goro time. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and <laughs> interact with the fans. Miss Hina. Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit be an event. just for you. This has oh, to be. And by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. There you go, <laughs> Miss Hina. I knew it. I knew she was up to something. Of course, of course, Gora. Please. <laughs> and there we go. Get the cute little fox. More Primo gems. More books. Mount Yogo Nightwalk Red Something Something. And I get a lavender melon. All right, up to the next one. Hey. What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you. How's that a coincidence? Here you are. Miss me? <laughs> yes, indeed. Whoa. I believe Klee has missed you tremendously. 
I'm saying you missed me, not Klee. But he did say yes at first already, so... Alright, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Okay. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. Uh-huh. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. I can see it. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time, besides painting the portraits of the five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. I'll take care of it. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. <laughs> so I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fair. What you talking about, Miss Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Are you saying you'd like to go and play? Yeah, um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Oh, she does want to stay. That's cute, that's cute. She's definitely listening to Albedo. Aw, Klee, you're such a thoughtful kid. Unlike Paimon. Whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Wow, that settles it. You are very thoughtful. Yeah, that's more like it anyway. You forced me to it say it. pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. We'll look after Klee. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Let's take her somewhere interesting. Klee, do you want to go play with Miss Honorary Knight? Yay, you bet I do. <laughs> As you know... Klee is our spark knight. You must keep her safe and sound. Of course. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh, <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. Yeah, we figured. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose <laughs> one of its peaks, <laughs> or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Got it. No explosions. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. <laughs> Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. Cute. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? <laughs> you know, food and drink. I just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. Klee would want to do this. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Snack time. Got it! All right, snack time it is! Ooh, you restaurant. Ooh, creative cuisine. Here you go, Klee. Have some dongo milk. Yukio. Wow, something smells so good. <laughs> I think it's coming from this steaming thingy. <laughs> Miss Honorary Knight, look at this noodley soup. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. Mm -hmm. There's so many nice things inside. True. It's not noodley soup. It's Tokortsu ramen, actually. Okay, the nerd. Oh, so, um... What are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mm, and what about this little yellow cake? That does look nice. That's an egg roll. They're amazing. <laughs> Have you really not tried one before? No. Wow. Tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Ah, big brain you are. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance Aww. so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. So cute. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. I'll pay for it. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. I think it's super cute. I don't think it's wrong, but don't take his more. I'll cook them myself. I'll make oh, him one too. I remember you. You're Yoimiya's friend. <laughs> how come you know how to make egg rolls? Ah, uh, listen, I'm culinary expert. What can I say? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this gal. Why don't you make some for Klee and Iwo? Sure, I'll throw in some for you too. Uh, really? <laughs> wow, Paimon is so touched. You're learning. Uh huh. All right, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls. Okay, don't hurry me now. Egg roll time. I'm just using my man's literally in front of his stall, using his thing to make egg rolls. That's so. That's rude. Here they are. Ooh. I have zero proficiency? Ooh. Sara can make a special dish. Nope. 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 <laughs> can I get one, please? Oi. Auto cook. Ten of them. Law of the odds wants me to get at least one. Ooh, the 
Look at this, so cute. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Hey, ma'am, do you really know how to make egg rolls? Oh, you tell if me. If you're not confident in your cooking skills, you can always go buy them from Shimura Kanbei's shop instead. <laughs> I promise I will make fun of you for it. Ah, oh, thank you for not making fun of me. Miss Honorary Knight, what do egg rolls taste like? Egg. <laughs> Here you go, Klee. You tell me what they taste like. Wow, you really can cook them. Uh-huh. You're awesome, man. Ah, uh, that you're awesome. Mmm, it's sweet. So yummy. Yep, yep. It's delicious. Trevor, you are the best. Hey, stop. Stop with the wholesome. Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good. But I still think Yoimiya's are better. Toxic. Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? <laughs> she runs the firework shop. She's a superhero. Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's That'd pretty be such much cute the best, most awesome person ever. Yoin Kli? For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. <laughs> and Kli knows loads of other great people too. Like Mr. Albedo, Miss Honorary Knight, no. Master Jean, Kaya. Cute. Uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Probably is. Oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. Cute. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time. So she can play with us. Let's go. She seems like she hasn't no been in a great here. mood recently. Oh. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. <laughs> seeing okay, Klee. let's go play with Yoimiya. <laughs> Man, what it gotta be so cute. Yoimiya. Yoimiya, don't be sad. <laughs> um Oh, I know. Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up. What's he got? Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Everyone wins against Ito. Wow, Motuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Oh, it is. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival. But there are still lots of other fun things to do. Why are you sad about that? Let's go, Saika. Come on. Cheer her up. I know. Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Yeah, you are. Yoimiya, it's me! Hey. And me. And them. I want to introduce you to a new friend. An Outlander girl. <laughs> I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? He never asked in the first place, did he? Well, they both love explosions. They're definitely going to blow stuff up together. <laughs> Klee! My name is Klee! <laughs> nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello! I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! And your backpack. <laughs> wow, it's really well made. It's almost like it's a playable character, and the people care about what she looks like. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. <laughs> really? That's awesome! <laughs> I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. That's not a fairy, that's Dodoko. <laughs> that's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. <laughs> yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. Cute. Ride the wind and go up on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. <laughs> yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends. I'm sure of it. She's already cheered up. It's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Sure. Hey, Klee, since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? You can't. It's impossible. Fireworks are banned. <gasps> yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way! Albedo was pretty <laughs> clear about that! No explosions allowed. Oh, oops. 
Yes. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. Uh huh. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. Let's go to Liwa. What? It's not allowed. But. <laughs> okay then. Hey, come on! You just made a new friend. Yeah. This is a happy occasion. Yeah. Why are you suddenly so upset? Yeah, don't be sad. Yeah, we still have loads of things we can do. Let's go check out the Iridori Festival. Right, just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do. Uh huh. What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast. Don't say blast. Don't say blast. <laughs> Okay then, let's go! Let's go. I still don't get why Yoimiya is upset. Can you use fireworks? Dummy, Yoimiya is upset because she can't set off fireworks for everyone during the Iridori Festival. Yeah, you dummy. Here we are, the venue of the Iridori Festival. Hey, it's me. Outlander Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? <laughs> oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Uh-huh. By Kawabonga Iki. Yoimiya, this is a really strange name. <laughs> Who's this Kawabonga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Ah. Uh. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine. And When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. What a long-ass name. They're right. Outlander's Brigade? Is it a story about the best of friends? No. Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. You realize you're talking to a kid. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. <laughs> A long and lonely struggle. Let's leave. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. <laughs> this is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very uh, suitable story for Klee. We might keep looking around. Bye. Hey, miss, don't go. Are you sure you don't want a copy? 40%. I'll give you 40% off. 40, first offer. Are you crazy? Bald man from other show would definitely tell you that you're going too low too quick. Princess Fischl. Oh. oh, look! It's Fischl's story! That's cute. That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Klee? No, we know of Fischl. <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. <laughs> Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Dodoko are always together. Uh huh. I wonder if. Dodoko is getting bored now. I, how would you know? It can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and <laughs> we have to be careful not to start a fire. What if we go all the way there? We can do it there. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and Yoimiya up. Mm -hmm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Fact. Yeah, like, um... I... Painting or writing a story. Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Yeah, the Iridori Festival is the perfect occasion for storytelling. That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You can show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Uh huh. Think of it like Dodoko playing with everybody. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. Okay. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. Yes. That's very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. Let's go. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. Yeah. <gasps> Yay, great! Dodoko will be so happy. <laughs> this new clap. Perfect. Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. Oi, oi. Clee and I just had a discussion, and we've decided... That we're going fish blasting. We're going to keep the content of the story a secret from you guys for now. <laughs> What? Why? <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or... <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. Hmm... You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. Sus. We'll be here when you get back. Sus, sus, sus. Come on, Yoimiya. We should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. Hmm, right. Painting. I know was hoping that we could all paint together. So unfair. They're making fireworks. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. 
Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a seat. <laughs> We're gonna catch them instantly. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm. Mm, Dodoko goes to eat tri flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Okay. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Okay, not sus so far. Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Okay. Hmm. Although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. Just print a few and put them on display. It's okay, Yoimiya. I have some more. Look! <laughs> uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. Sure. Miss Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to <laughs> trouble her. You wouldn't. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to earn <laughs> some more. Mm, no fish blasting. Nice, Yoi. Like. Traveler said so. I like how we're nodding <laughs> and everything. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. <laughs> Who's Mr. Albedo? <laughs> He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, Kaya. and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Cute. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. Yes, under the name Calx. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching <laughs> Sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Cute. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay. Let's write this. Oh, cute. I might didn't hear the last part. Guess we'll have to see. Dodoko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. We just eavesdropped the entire time? Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Uh huh. Now we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Sure. Are we going to see a preview of this? Click. Susan! Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Hi. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. Is it really? <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. <laughs> How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? <laughs> Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! That's so cute. Uh huh? I don't quite understand. What? We better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. What? The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. But it's for the little kid. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? <laughs> yes. How is the fix not just printing one copy and putting it on display? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. We'll find a way. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, <laughs> I can pitch in. <laughs> Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival. Right. And a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. Fair. At a time like this... We really can't squeeze any more jobs in. Understandable. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. Okay, what's the fix? I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. 
I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally gonna take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. Thanks for lighting up the mood. Feel the same way. Really if epic. If we can get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. Mm -hmm. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. <laughs> my, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. <laughs> I like it very much. Of course. We can use Yai's personal basement printer. Watch it. It's Miko, and Albedo too! Hey. We heard everything. Okay. Oh, Lady Yai. Hi. It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. No. Nah. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. <laughs> Yai Klee dynamic. That's something I hadn't thought about. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl. You can little print girl. your book, but on one condition. Okay? Oh. Uh. Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition All the sales is, I am ready come to, to me. It. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. <laughs> Who would ever do that? All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. Oh, like a cute little story at the end of a book. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Uh -huh. Your book is too big, so Whoa. you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Oh no. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? No. Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? No. Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! No. <laughs> what an adorable little girl! <laughs> well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Jesus, okay, well, thanks. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Thanks, Auntie Aratani. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. <laughs> Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Wow. All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Yay. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Oh, yes, Yoimiya, it's a waiting moment. Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. Of course. <laughs> no worries. You should spend some time with Klee too, Albedo. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Look, Miss Honorary Knight, Auntie Aratani brought us Todoko's story. Let's see it. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, we're gonna miss half of it, though. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. What do you mean? It's the story of Todoko and me. Why would you hide it if it's not exciting? And me. And you guys. And you guys. <laughs> Figured. You put us in the story? Oh my god, but I just- Okay, pictures, there we go. I love pictures. This is so cute! I love this. Aww. <laughs> if you're reading this, you two are part of Big Adventure. <laughs> That's cute. Paimon's in the story too! This is Paimon's first time featuring in a printed book! Woohoo! Paimon's gonna be famous! Okay, let's not push it now. Of course we included Paimon! This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. Mm -hmm. This story is me and Yoimiya's gift for Miss Honorary Knight. A gift for me? Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. What is the other book? We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? That's fair. Oh, are you sure? It's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Oh, here he is, Sincho. Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <laughs> okay, what a reference. <gasps> hey, that's Mommy's book! <laughs> yeah, 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 that's cute. So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's <laughs> mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat. And the Inazuma edition of her popular To That Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. <laughs> That's so cool. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. 
a joint endeavor by Tavat's biggest uh, of course. and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Yeah, there had to be some marketing behind it, right? Uh, Paimon knew it. Exactly. People would never do anything for free. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a typical ha. move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yeah, in the end, I guess so. Yep. I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. I hope we get to see Alice eventually. Oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. There you go. And we get a copy of the book. That's really cute too. Let's go, Doroko. And that, my friends, brings us to the very end of this incredibly long video, I'm sure. Many, many, many stories. Gonna probably put them all in here. Hope you really enjoyed the festival. I sure did. I think it was very original. I think it's one of my favorites so far. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.